all right what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the brandon coin youtube channel um i just got done scraping all the grass and bushes boom there's a pile and i did one over there i just stacked up the pile sideways on that one but um construction's been pretty slow uh so it's good that the computer shop's been super busy i apologize to all the emails i have not got back to um me and my family did like half of our our land or our thanksgiving on thursday and then the other half on friday and um it kind of messed me up for a little bit of work so that's why i had to come out today and do it on saturday but no big deal now we are heading into the computer shop because i got to get some orders ready Woo! and then uh, it just so happens that it was oh, serendipitous all the times that I had tried to make deals on my Ryzen 9 5900Xs, the deals had always fallen through. Because I had motherboards, uh, CPU, and RAM combo kits, and I had them all assembled with like tower coolers, and I didn't really want to break it up. I was just like, you know, if I'm going to sell it, I'm going to sell it all in a deal, and everybody like, oh, I want the CPU, or oh, I just want the motherboard. And I'm like, I don't really want to sell it up. Or like, I don't want to separate it. Um, I, I don't enjoy taking ryzen chips out of the socket even though i know 99 percent of the time it's going to be fine I, don't, I just don't like doing it especially when they've been in there for a while um i just always for some reason get the heebie-jeebies thinking like i'm gonna have pins break off and that kind of thing probably not definitely not but you know it could happen let's put the old shades on it's it's bright out here Whew. Alrighty. so um yeah, it's just serendipitous that the two, I have two 5900Xs, then I think I have a 57 or a 5800X. They didn't sell, um, and CPU mining's popping off right now. So I figured, let's go grab some of those and let's simulate FOMOing in. Technically, I'm not FOMOing because I'm not going out and I'm not buying anything, but let's simulate it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what the next video after this is going to be um it's going to be me like mock buying it and showing you guys why fomoing is bad um it's very bad bad for the health bad for your wallet because these pumps don't last and a lot of people like i know there's people out there buying cpus right now specifically to mine whatever this current pump is it's not monero it's um i i read about it last night um some people think, oh, it's going to hold. It's going to be like this for months and months. And I'm like, months and months still all doesn't qualify for ROIing some of this hardware. It might get close. Who knows? Might might go up. But statistically, I guess we'll find out. Let's go to the shop. All right. All right. Let's see here. go put the light on Whew. we are in the shop oh. everybody's clowning my bows because my the the ear pads are like coming apart this is like the third set of ear pads i have these are bose qc 35s they have some good age on them but anybody that has any of the bose qc series like over the ear headphones they know those they're really they're really nice headphones um now that i'm in the shop oh goodness yeah i gotta pack some orders out and let's see I need to get my risins there they are so i think pretty sure these red coolers are 5900 x's and i don't know what that one is so i'm gonna grab that one pull that cooler off and see what we're working with there i know i want to take both of the 5900 x's home might take that one home too not sure not sure um that's a little intel board it's an h81 don't think there's anything in there it's a pz68 that's old don't think that's gonna be any count <laughs> all right so this is that uh mystery cpu a little dusty Whew. yeah there we go Gonna need to get some fresh thermal paste on this bad boy. But let's see what we are working with. It is a Ryzen. Need to wipe it off. A Ryzen something. 
rising up out of here. Oh, it is a 3800 XT, which I believe, uh, I think that's an eight core, I believe. So it's okay. I don't think, uh, it ain't going to be making what the old 5900 X's are making, but I think it'll be worth plugging in. So yeah, let's track down some thermal paste and then I need RAM for this one. Ugh, do I need RAM for this one? Yep, that's a 5900X. I need RAM for that. So there's a stick of RAM. Let's see, what is this? This is, looks like DDR3. That will not work. Yeah, that's DDR3. I got a little bucket of DDR4 over here. Uh, let's see, I'll put that with the DDR3. Here's my, my bucket of DDR4. Boom, we got some T-Force here. So we'll plop that in there. Eight gigs. I don't know if you get extra performance in running dual channel or single channel for XMR mining. I'm not sure. I have two identical 5900X systems. Maybe I should run one of the setups with single channel and one with dual channel. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. Alrighty. So, and then for the other one, we're going to stick in a set of X-Power RGB LED 2 times 8 gigabyte sticks. Alright, so we got the motherboards, now we need power supplies. Bam, 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 bam. Alright, so let's grab the power supplies. Well, these little 500 watt deals will, will be plenty. Alright, CPU, motherboard, boom, there's one. Oh no, oh no, easy. There we go, there's two. One more. Three. Three. All right, so we got power supplies. I'm gonna load those in the truck. Um, I was curious. Have. Let me flip this around. All right, so I gotta back out of here now because I got the trailer. There's not great parking as of yet. If you have a trailer, because uh, the back parking lot's not done, but I'm supposed to be working on that. I think next week. No, no, it started it's the week after. My mistake. Um, they're waiting on like permits or that kind of thing to come through. Uh, but regardless. I got the motherboards, so I got two 5900Xs and one 5800X. Uh, I know that that should make a good deal of money, and I'll run them for a little while, and uh, if things go back down, then I'll turn them back off, and it was, you know, not, nothing ventured, nothing gained scenario. Um, there's so many people in the comments section that are like, oh my god, you're selling, like, used mining gear. Um, I hate to tell you this guys but like mining has already been proven that uh 
unless you're absolutely like dogging your hardware and you know dumping stuff on it or there was a specific scenario where if you had like certain 3080s or certain 3090s you were overheating the memory i typically stayed away from a lot of those because you had to do memory pad you know uh, change out the memory pads and that kind of thing it was kind of a pain in the butt but um for the most part mining does not hurt hardware there's no degradation of performance from mining sorry my little my little mount kind of stinks but um yeah so if i go and mine on this stuff for a little while then decide to turn it off in a month two months six months and then clean it up and sell it it's fine it's fine even though the, gosh it bothers some people but um yeah so if you're out there buying used graphics cards or used cpus there's probably a good chance that it was mined on before you had it especially graphics cards especially like 10 20 30 series those bad boys were mined on unless you bought them brand new and it's it's okay it is okay but regardless um we're gonna run these bad boys i'm i already got like a, a little video series cooking up in my head so um gonna you know gonna be the the fomo cpu series so look forward to that hopefully it'll turn out good and I know there's there is real situations where people are really going out and buying these CPUs right now specifically to mine in this current climate and um, I give you props guys because there was definitely a time where I was like jumping into and trying to expand and, and all that kind of stuff but the market was just a lot stronger and the profitability was a lot stronger maybe not directly on the CPU side of things but talking GPU side of things luckily um seems like the cpus like prices they are up slightly but uh, i don't think they have skyrocketed because a lot of people are like oh my god this is going to drive cpus through the moon and um i don't i don't think that's going to be the case i think there's enough supply of cpus out there but we'll see anyway i'm about to jump on the highway i'm gonna turn my phone off i'll see y'all here shortly all right so i just got back and i couldn't contain myself so i went ahead and plugged one of them in and have it running this is the one that has a single eight gig stick um and it's running my old overclock settings that i was using for raptorium which i don't know if that's good for uh what it's currently mining just plugged it in and on um so a 9.6 kilohash on random x if we go over to ISASH says it should be doing like 14 kilohash and profitability hasn't come up on it because I just did an update so we'll see what that comes up to here in a second. Uh, the old Xeon's doing 76 cents a day. It says 74 over here but uh, still have her chugging away. But yeah let's get some of these rigs up and online and um, hopefully this holds out for a little while but yeah look look forward to my next videos coming up if you like cpu mining and um we'll also be going into the shop monday so if you like shop videos we, we got a lot of a lot of irons in the fire as i said before so anyway guys y'all have a good one peace out i'll see you on the next one adios